Hi my loves, it's Sam. So today I'm gonna to be doing a master bedroom tour slash my filming, kind of like filming office space. It's all one big room um, and it's nice because I finally have my own little area, which is awesome. So today you guys are just gonna see a master bedroom tour. You're gonna to see all of our little bits and bobs that we have in there, inside the closet where I film. I'm gonna link um, as much as I can that's still available as far as like home decor, my bed, all that kind of stuff. So check the description box for that kind of stuff. It'll be down there and I'll have it uh, pinned in a comment as well. But I hope you guys enjoy. I've had a few requests for this. It's my favorite master we've ever had. It's just got such good calming like vacation vibes it just makes me every time i wake up i feel like i'm on vacation when i look around the room and look out the window it's just so pretty so i absolutely love it i hope you guys enjoy let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go in okay so when you first come in this is what you see so the ceiling is so pretty we've got a fan i just absolutely love the ceiling because it makes me feel like i'm in like this lovely little, I don't know, it just feels very like safe and cozy. It's really nice. A lot of light in this room, which I really love. But anyway, this is our bed. Our bed is from Macy's. I got it on sale. It was such a good deal. I love this bed. It doesn't move. It doesn't make noises. It's super sturdy. It is awesome. And it's kind of like this. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be a little bit more cream. Do you guys see it's kind of got like a bit of a grayish kind of bluish tint to it? but it's really, really pretty and I do love it. And I got it because my dogs are actual losers and they like to find things and then go underneath the bed and hide them all underneath the bed and it's really obnoxious. So I spent so long trying to find a bed that they could not sneak under and it's so amazing because I know there's nothing under there. Like when we had our Ikea bed, underneath was literally so many toys pencils, chewed up crayons, like it was just ridiculous. So no one can get under here. It's awesome, it's got the footboard and I just absolutely love it. Our mattress is from Yas, Yasso or Yasa Studios. I'll link it, it's my favorite mattress ever. We've had it for years and I'm obsessed. Bedding is from, I think I got it from TJ Maxx. That long pillow is from Walmart and I think that one's from Walmart too. I don't know if they still have them. That little thing above the bed is from TJ Maxx or Marshalls, I've had it forever. Our dressers are from Ikea. Um, they're really awesome because <laughs> I have like, so much makeup in them. They store a lot. So in here is like a lot of my lip stuff and more lip stuff and uh, Yeah, so they do hold a lot and they're just like a nice neutral color. So this is Jay's side This is a snazzy little thing. It's from Belkin. He likes charging his iPad I think you can charge your iPad no your iPhone your head or your watch and then your Ear pods or whatever they're I don't have them. What are they called AirPods? His iPad, this is great, Eros are so awesome. I don't really know what it is, but they told us to get it because we were having problems with our internet and this works amazing. Our last house, our internet was like in the closet and so it didn't stretch out to the kids' room so then they couldn't like play on their games and stuff. It like spreads the Wi-Fi signal or something, I don't know. Anyway, um, this is all of Jay's cologne. He's got all of his favorites. This one is so good. The Valentino, oh my god, I think it's like unisex. This one's my favorite. I also really love the Carolina Herrera Bad Boy. That one's really nice. Um, this one, Hugo Boss Bottled, and then the regular Hugo Boss. Oh no, that's the tonic. He's out of the regular Hugo Boss. La Homme, he has lots of good ones. Um, so that's Jay's little section. And then we've got a nice window where we can look out at the trees. And then over here is Jay's dresser. So he has all of his clothes in there. And then up, up top, this picture, hmm, home goods, TJ Maxx or Marshall is one of those. Um, this is where I've got like some of my extra perfumes. Those are all my dossier perfumes. These little Clinique ones, some Scentbird, Kim K's, just some more random perfumes. Then we have this little chair over here in this corner. Ow, I just hit my, bed, my butt on the bed. So this is from World Market. I love it, it's a swivel chair, it's super awesome. The pillow is from Walmart. Curtains and rods are from Amazon. I'll, I'll link everything that I can that's still available. We do have a cute little deck, which is super nice. I can't wait to use it in the summer when there's not snow. And then this is my dresser. Again, it's just the Ikea, what are they called? I don't know, 
So then I've got a mirror here, which is from, I think Ikea actually. And then this is where I have like all of my perfumes. So these are like all of the ones that I use on a regular. Oh, someone's moved these. That wasn't me. These are the ones I use on a regular basis. So in here I have like little samples and then all of my body sprays and Victoria's Secret ones, my um, Sol de Janeiro, all of my Ariana Grandes, and then all of my like go-to's at the moment. I'm almost out of Prada. <gasps> Look, there's like a tiny little bit. Oh, that's so sad. This one, Jo Malone Sea Daftal, so nice. We've got this massive mirror here. This is from Urban Outfitters. Um, it's a little expensive. I actually got it on sale. But with shipping, you do have to pay the shipping fee, which is kind of ridiculous. I think it was still, I think it was still around $700 because I got it on sale. Um, but it's massive and I love it and it, it just looks so nice. And I get so many compliments or questions about where I got this whenever I post it online. It's huge. It's nice because when you lie in bed, I can look out the window, I can look out that window, I can look out all the windows because the mirror reflects, which is really, really nice. So now we're on to my side of the room. So we've got another nice window. This mirror is from uh, Walmart. That one's from Walmart. This little table is from Target. Obsessed with these tables, they're so great. Um, and then my nightstand is also from Ikea because there's more makeup. Oh no, there's skincare in here. Skincare and then oh, more skincare. <laughs> so they're great if you need extra storage. Um, so on my nightstand, I have my current phone charger. I absolutely love it. I've got this cute little dish. I can't remember where that's from. Uh, my lamp back over here. I've got, we've been using this every single night, you guys. Oh my gosh. We've been sleeping so good. It's the Body Shop Sleep Calming Pillow Mist. I spray it all over our back pillow. And then this sleep essential oil you can put on the bottom of your feet. This sleep balmy body cream. I rub it on my body. Um, this is all of my other perfumes. So, oh, and then this is my little, this is great. It's the Velvet Caviar. It just clicks onto the back of your um, phone and it matches my case. Um, anyway, this is more perfume. So I have like, all the good ones, Michael Kors, all of the Juicies, Billie Eilish. What else do I love over here? My Ghost Cleaning Cappy Heart, that one's really nice. So it's just on this like little spinner thing that I got from TJ Maxx a long time ago. And then over here, I've got my books, my Prince Harry Spare and my Pamela Anderson Love Pamela. Still waiting for time to read those because so far it hasn't happened. I got to like page 18 on that one. I haven't even started Pamela, but one day, I'm, I'm gonna take them to the beach this summer and read them, but I just haven't found the time yet. So then I've got these two little vases. Those are from Walmart. And I'm pretty sure the pompous is from Walmart too. My little rug is from TG Maxx, I think. Over there is a little bag from Target. It's got all my summer stuff in, all my new bathing suits and everything. And then over here, so if I like step back a little bit, this ceiling is cool because it kind of arches up like this. Um, so it's really pretty. This is the Hemnes, I think, from Ikea. I really just love Ikea dressers because you know what? They're sturdy, they last really like a super long time, they're not that expensive, and they're just like nice, simple, clean designs. And this one is amazing because it fits a ton. So in here, I have all of my Honey Love um, and like bodysuit stuff. They fit a ton, like a ton of stuff. They're really big drawers, so I highly recommend the Hemnes. Honestly, I kind of wish I just had all Hemnes because I feel like the drawers are actually a lot. <laughs> Lily's homesick today. I think I'm catching her cold. Um, but I feel like they fit a lot more than those. I would say out of the two, I would probably go with Hemnes, but Hemnes takes up a little bit more space because of that little extra thing on the top. Um, I just got these from Target. They're on sale right now for 20% off all of wall decor and decorative objects. And these are really gorgeous. So this one is a slightly smaller one. I think this was 25 and this one was 30. And then I just put the Walmart pompous in it, but they're really pretty. I was hoping that they'd look a little bit more matte. They're actually a little bit more shiny than I thought, but I think they're really pretty and I love the shape of them. This it's from Amazon, I'll link it. It's where I keep all of my earrings. Do I have any jewelry? There's some, um, but you know, you can see I have a lot of jewelry. Little necklace stand that I actually need to transfer into this because I just got this. This is where I keep all of my sunglasses, my Key Australia, 
Um, just all sorts of, you know, sunglasses and blue light glasses right there. Okay, so then we've got these little stairs that go up to my little filming office. So it's nice because in our last house, like our bedroom was, it wasn't the biggest to be honest for a master bedroom. I feel like they definitely could have made it a little bit bigger. There was no specific area for me to have like a filming section. And it was just really frustrating for me because I didn't have my own space and I really wanted to have my own space. It's such a good like the way it's shaped it's like you've got your little area over there where you can sit and look at the window if you want to with your dressers and then you've got your bed you know your actual bedroom area and then that's a closet right there that's like a walk-in closet and then you've got this little section over here like there's a lot of space it's a lot bigger and then i have my own dedicated little space where i can put all my crap over there and it's just like I don't know, it just feels like my own. It's almost like feels like an, its own separate little room, which is really nice. In this little section here, I've got my new Amazon jewelry armoire cabinet thingamabobber. It has a little door. Oh, sometimes you have to hold it. It can lock, so it comes with keys and everything. Hold on, I need two hands. There we go. As you can see, it's really, really big. It's got a ton of storage. It's got a little mirror. You've got all your stuff for earrings. And then you've got your little, like, I think it's for watches and bracelets. I'm not really sure. You've got a Ziploc here. You've got stuff for necklaces here. You've got a ton of shelves. I've just put some of my perfumes and stuff in here that's like right next to my desk. In here I have scrunchies. I really don't know what it would be for, but it's great for silk scrunchies. You've got a whole section for rings. And then you've got these little sections where you could put like your makeup if you wanted to, some lipstick. I've just got little samples. And then you've got your mirror. What I like about it is that it swivels. So on the back here, it swivels all the way around. You've got little shelves. So I've put like extra products there. Um, and then this is where I keep my little bag for stuff I've bought that I'm gonna do a haul with or stuff I need to return. Um, and then down there is just stuff that I have that I wanna give to my friends that I didn't like, like products I didn't like. So I just kind of have that like that. And then here's my little desk. So, my chair is from Wayfair. I love this chair. It's super awesome. It's really comfortable and it swivels. Down there I have all my Zip Beauty stuff and then I've got some boxes from Lily Silk. There is where I keep all my empties so whenever I fin finish a product I just throw it in there so that I can have it for my empties video. This desk is from World Market. It came with cane. I sprayed it because it looked really, really yellow and it didn't match our last house, but um, it's already chipping, which is so annoying. I don't know why. In here, I just have like random stuff. And then I have all my eye products in here. And then this little thing, I can't get this. It said storage box. I peeled off the storage, but I can't get the box off yet. <laughs> so it just says box. Um, but this is from Timu. I shared it in my Timu haul. So I've got my like lip line or no, I've got lip glosses in there. I've got lipsticks in there. I've got more lipsticks in there. I've got all my brushes. These are from um, Target. My lip glosses and lip oils, my setting sprays, lip masks, all that kind of stuff in there. Over here, I've got like all of my brushes and lip liners. In here, I've got like batteries and my little hair clips for doing my makeup. My uh, tripod, which is the Manfrotto. I don't know why I said it in that voice. I've got my little ring light. Um, and then in here, this is that Timu one. I have all of my lights, my um, filming lights. They all fit in there fabulous. And then I can just keep them out of, you know, when I want it to look tidy. And then over here, I have my Stanley cup, a mirror. I got that from Costco. This is where I keep all of my like everyday blushes, more blushes, mascaras and brow stuff. And then this is like all my favorite foundations and blushes and powders and primers and all that good stuff. This is from Amazon. I'll link it. Um, and then up here I have like more foundations, just a ton of different ones. Just a little thing that I got in PR that I keep like random bits in. Lip liners, which I don't know why that should be in the middle. Um, I need to get rid of this mirror. It's totally in the way actually. And then I've got my liquid blushes and liquid bronzers in there. So I've got this window. So this is where I have like all of the light come in when I'm filming, which is awesome. And then it's just this cute little like 
window space and it's fab. These are great. If you guys don't have these, they're awesome because they're like plugs, but then they also have the little USB thingy bobbers as well, which I love. So this is where I keep like my charger. And then I got my cute little light, even though everyone hates it. <laughs> I'm so sad. I really liked it, but everyone said it was distracting and they didn't like it, but I've got it there, so it makes me feel like it's my little office. And this is my closet. This is my closet. I share that one with Jay. My new beautiful bag. You scooch over. Okay, so that's my new beautiful bag from Target that I love. I haven't like put much in here yet. You get down. But I've got like all my snow boots, like my winter stuff. And these are like my sweatshirts, my shackets. Um, just like all of my favorite sweatshirts that I wear regularly on this side. Oh, freaking life, what's stuck? I have all of my like oversized t-shirts, more boots, and then vests and shackets and all that kind of stuff. So that's my little office space. That's my favorite little area because it's where I do all my work and all my TikToks and all my YouTube videos and it's just like my own dedicated little spot and I really love it and that's what I was really missing in our last house was that I didn't have my own dedicated space and I've always had my own dedicated space and it's hard when you work from home and then you don't have like your your own specific area where no one can come and bother you and they're not in your background and they're not all over your stuff that was really hard for me like not being able to have my own space in our last house so I love the fact that like even though I share this room with Jay it's nice because that's why I stuck him on this side whenever he's got all of his clothes and his slippers and his socks I can shove it in that corner I don't have to clean the whole entire house in order to film I literally shove it all over there <laughs> and it's really nice when I was filming in our living room in our last house like I had to clean up the whole space in order to film and it's very annoying when you have a limited amount of time so this way it's like all I have to do is like halfway make the bed if I don't even want to make the full bed which you know you know sometimes I do that I can shove everything in his corner it still looks tidy and it's, it's just so much better so much better and then this is our closet it's a little full honestly not the best closet in the world and I hate the racks because they're so annoying because you can't slide stuff so like when I'm putting all of his clothes away it's just so obnoxious because I have to like scooch things over and like this is not never get these this is such a bad idea this is Jay's section <laughs> This is the benefit of having a man who does not care about clothes. That's his little section right there, which is great. And then these are all of like my pants and jeans and all that kind of stuff. I've got shoes on all of the shelves. So those are like all my boots. Um, and then this is like all of my like tank tops and t-shirts and like some workout stuff, some more jeans. Um, and here I've got my Amazon things that have more shoes in them. In and on, I have more like bras in there. It's just like all shoved shoved around in here. And then this little rack, was this was actually quite handy. Um, this is already built in, but it, it's great for all of my heels. So I actually quite like this thing. And then this is a little Amazon um, closet that I just shoved in here because I needed more space. This is for like all of my new stuff when I'm doing try-ons. And then I have my hats up here, an extra space for shoes. And then these baskets, like this is all my express bags in here. And then this is all of my Honey Love stuff, like the actual like shapewear for bottoms and things. And then this is where I put stuff that, um, like, why did I get a small? Who am I? Well, who do I think I am? So that is just stuff that I, I am going to keep in here if I like try stuff on and I'm like, well, that doesn't fit or I don't like it anymore. I put it in here so that I can either give it to friends or take it to Plato's closet or whatever. And so, yeah, and then there's hats and then there's more hats up there. So that's our little closet, and then that's where Jay keeps a couple of his shoes, and then I think he's got, oh yeah, he's got more shoes down there. Luckily, he doesn't have much stuff. He's like, does not care about clothes whatsoever. He just has his stuff for work, so it makes it really simple because he doesn't take up too much room, because we definitely do not have that much room in our closet. So that is our bedroom slash my office, and I love it. It's so nice. There's so much light in here. It's so beautiful when the sun is coming in and you can hear the little birds. Um, and I love this little spotlight here. And then I love the fact that we can like look out at our little deck and then once the snow clears and it's nicer weather, I'm gonna put our little chairs out here and we can just come sit out here. It's just like so beautiful. It's just really peaceful. It just feels like a little tree house because of the wood. It feels like I'm up in a little tree house 
and it's just so peaceful and calming. It's like my own little retreat. It makes me feel like I'm on vacation. Like I really do love it up here. It's also really super duper quiet up here. So even if everyone is downstairs, like if I have to film when the kids are home because we've had 8 million snow days or like Lily's sick today, she's just downstairs hanging out and it's so quiet. Like they can all be downstairs and I'm doing like a TikTok at the end of the night checking in and you cannot hear them and that's what's so nice. There's a quiet space for me to come and work. When you work from home, you have to have a space that feels like quiet, you can focus, you can get your stuff done, especially for filming because obviously you guys can hear what's in my background. So it's just really nice that I have my own like little dedicated space now and I love it and it really does feel very peaceful in here. And because I'm like up, I love upstairs houses as well. Jay grew up on a like a one story house and I grew up in a two story house. So I was always upstairs. Like my bedrooms were always upstairs. I, I hate being in a one story. I don't know what it is. But I just love, I love being upstairs. I like when my bedroom is upstairs because like you're up with the trees. And that was another thing, like in our last house, we had no foliage, there was no trees around us and I hated it. It just made me feel like I was living in this like starkness. Um, because even in, in, even in our North Carolina new build, we still had trees. Like, so when I looked out, like, cause I obviously I had that room upstairs to film in, you looked out, you could still see trees everywhere. So it was really nice. And in our last house, it was literally nothing. There was no trees anywhere. And I hated that. Like it really, I feel like when you've grown up in Tahoe and you're used to like looking outside at trees, it feels really odd when you don't do that anymore. And so I love the fact that I'm upstairs. I'm like, I feel like I'm in the, in the trees in the, tr like, I feel like I'm in a tree house and I just love it. I don't know what it is, but it's just so peaceful and you can see the little birds flying around and like every single way you sit, doesn't matter where you are. Like you just see, let's see, see how beautiful that is when you're in bed and then you're looking out at that and you can see all the little birds and squirrels. Look, look at the birds. Did you see that? See, I love this. I sit here and I film and I can watch all the birds. This is my view. So when I'm sitting here, while I'm sitting here filming, I get to look at this. It's so, so pretty. I absolutely love it. I watch all the little creatures. I'm just one with the trees, guys. I was just meant to be a fairy. Okay, guys, so there is my room tour. I hope you guys enjoy and found that helpful. Don't forget, everything will be linked down below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.